good news, Max. I think I just gave birth to a bouncing baby hernia. Higher! Ugh. I got it! I got it! Ow! Hello. Yes, Commissioner? Holy cat wearing catfish flopping a crime beat. We're on our way. Did he get the notes I sent him? Yes, but he said to stop carving them into the suspects. He can't read them without his bifocals. What if I just write this? Forget that, Max. We're after the most infamous organized crime outfit in the city, the Troy Mafia. The cutthroat killers with no respect for human life but an odd predilection for delightful children's toys? The same. I love those guys! The commissioner has reason to believe that the Toy Mafia's secret headquarters are located in the one place no one would ever suspect. Teddy Bear's Mafia-free Playland and Casino. The shallowest place on Earth? Oh, boy! Well, it's not going to be all laughs and dyspepsia, little chum. It's a rescue op. The commissioner sent an undercover mole to investigate, but he hasn't reported in weeks. Our job is to make contact with the mole and see if he needs help. Is he a large, star-shaped mole, or more of a beauty mark? No idea, Max. To find him, we're supposed to give the code phrase, Does the carpet match the drapes? And what'll he say? He'll say, Well, I never. He'll smack me across the face. Sounds great! Let's do this! Ah, Brady Culture's hair. It makes for an unwieldy but oh-so-enchanting memento of our first case in a long while. He howled like a sick wallaby when I shaved it off him. Good times. This chart pile of scrap serves as a touching reminder of the fun we had at WARP-TV. I've determined that whether for food or for sports, I just really enjoy frying things. Hey, an ace. An extra card up your sleeve never hurts. Except when the other guy catches you with it and decides to riddle every inch of your body with high caliber bullets and then dump your mutilated corpse in an empty field. Yeah, except that. Good old Mr. Spatula. Certainly not just some other floating belly up in this very what? Careful, Sam. Keep it up. Hey, Bosco. Nice flapjack! Son of Cordel Blue! Who is this, uh, Bosco? <laughs> hey, guys, it's me, Bosco! No! But you may call me Jean-Francois Sissipens, the cowardly French anarchist. So, Bosco, why'd you get Frenchified? They saw right through my British disguise. I don't know how they did it, but they found me. Who? The Mafia! The Toy Mafia! They've got an in for me! Take a number, guys. What manner of nightmarish atrocities has the Toy Mafia committed against you? Nothing yet. But I know what they are planning, and it is terrible. Are they planning to tie you down, tape your eyelids open, and turn on the 24-hour Midtown Cowboys channel? Well, not that bad. I have reason to believe they are planning to deliver something to my star! Another delivery conspiracy? What could a band of ruthless toy mongers possibly want to put in here? I don't know. But it is no matter. They will never be able to deliver anything to my star. Or my name is not Jean-Francois Sissy Pants. But your name's not Jean-Francois Sissy Pants. Shh, they don't know that. 
What's keeping the Toy Mafia from making a delivery? Well, for one, I am watching always. They will never sneak past me. Yeah, just like Wizard couldn't sneak past you. And two, even if they do get past me, I got a fail safe. It's the greatest invention the world has seen since b -tags. I call it the Bosco Tech Anti-Delivery System. What's the acronym for that? Uh, also b -tags. It is b -tags Part D! How does b -tags Part D work? First is the anti-delivery camera. It keeps a massive photo recognition database of every inconvenient item I stock. How completely impractical! If anything gets placed in the store that the anti-delivery camera does not recognize, it is put out on the street! Vive la France! Does the carpet match the drapes? No! And you know why? Because the man doesn't want them to! He's threatened by their potential unification! Mm-hmm. Look outside. It's the Toy Mafia. What? Where? Fools! There is no one! <laughs> Sorry, Bosco. Just yanking your chain, amigo. Sacre bleu! I could do this all day. And I intend to! Look outside. It's the Toy Mafia. What? Where? Fools! There is no one! <laughs> Sorry, Bosco. Just yanking your chain, amigo. Sacre bleu! I could do this all day. We want to buy something. Oui, oui, monsieur! What do you got? Ooh la la! Behind the counter, I have the latest in Bosco Tech innovation! A device non parallel on chocolate! Is that good? Oui, oui! This I call a miniature listening device. It can fit in any cravat under any chapeau. What's it do? It listens. You can use it to hear secret conversations, no? No. I mean, yes. Okay, senor sissy pants. We'll take that miniature listening device. The price is 10 million dollars. 10 million? Wait, is that 10 million in crazy fake French dollars or 10 million in regular dollars? Regular dollars. The market is bearish on crazy fake French dollars. Give us that miniature listening device. Ten million, s'il vous plaît. We'll be back if and when we have an unexpected windfall. Do you have any stray tufts of Sasquatch hair? Nope. Do you have any hats in the shape of a cow udder? Nope. Do you have any rubber chickens with a pulley in the middle? Nope. Do you have any amulets of protection against greater hypnosis? Nope. Do you have any... No! How do you know what he was gonna... No! Do you? No! Do... No! Do you? No! Do you? No! Do you have any straight tufts of Sasquatch hair? No! Nothing for us right now. Zit! See you later, Bosco. I know not this Bosco of whom you speak, but if I see him, I shall bid him a reservoir! The anti-delivery camera. Myra Stump shocks a crowd with new hairstyle. Wow, talk about a slow day for news. I don't talk about the news, Sam. I make it! The Alien Love Rectangle Post. I had no idea there was such fierce competition among Alien Love Polygon tabloids.
Hello, Sam. Hello, Max. Hey, it's our favorite short attention span careerist. This time, I've found the job for me. I've become a professional trial witness. What exactly is a professional trial witness? Oh, it's great! We give dramatic testimonies, sequester in ritzy hotels, and order room service in the name of truth and justice. It almost sounds like you're enriching yourself at the expense of this country's overcomplicated legal system. Do you have a problem with that, Mr. Freelance Police? Yeah! Why didn't we think of it? What led you to decide to become a professional witness? Publishing the Alien Love Triangle Times taught me a lot about the truth, you know? The truth is far out there? Exactly. And then one day I got called for jury duty, and the rest is history. What's your next career gonna be? Oh, there is no next career. I'm sticking with trial witnessing for good. No, seriously. Any ideas about your next cockamamie profession? I resent that. Do you have your first case yet? No, but I'm waiting for a call from the district attorney. He says he's got something I'd be perfect for. You don't feel uncomfortable getting a case first and then being a witness for it? Not at all. You see, the problem with most trials is that crimes are witnessed by someone who's unprepared for what's going to happen, or who doesn't have sufficient training or skills to accurately remember or relate what happened. With my background and widely varied skill set, I'm perfect. That makes sense. Should I be afraid? Probably. Does the carpet match the drapes? Interior decorating was like eight months ago. I'm a trial witness now. Isn't trial witnessing a trifle dangerous? Oh no, we're protected by the truth. We'll be back, Sybil. Bye, boys. Keep one eye on the truth. Where are we going, Sam? Teddy Bear's Mafia Free Playland and Casino. Goody! Welcome to Teddy Bear's Mafia Free Playland and Casino. Ah! That face. My name's Lovey Bear. Boy, do we have some fun and games for you. Here, take this token amount of tokens as our way of saying welcome and go spend a lot of money. Holy domesticated ursins, Max. Lovey Bear here's got the same head as that hypnotic teddy bear from Myra's talk show. You think that little talk show bear had a litter of giant babies? I don't know, Max. Call it canine intuition, but I think our mole discovered something about these teddy bears he shouldn't have. We've got to find him and get to the bottom of this. You're lucky this mask doesn't have ear holes or I might have heard that secret conversation you just had right in front of me. What? Sorry, I wasn't listening. You give tokens to first-time customers? That's right. Go on, enjoy, live a little. It just seems like bad business sense. Okay, tell you what, 13 hours from now, when you're trying to pawn your little friend here to pay off the fig, we can talk then about bad business sense. Okay, we'll come back then. I hear you have a mole problem. Hey, it's a genetic condition. You should have seen my father's back. Holy cow, I'm actually being too subtle. First time that's ever happened. Maybe I should just stick to the code phrase. 